Welcome back to Workday Gourmet. Today we're making the easiest, fastest creme brulee recipe ever. They take a minute to whip up and 12 minutes to set. Try this method once and you'll never go back to oven baking for 15 minutes. I'll also go over quick cooling tips, substitutions, and what to do if you don't have a torch. We'll start with one egg yolk, about 20 grams, and equal weight sugar, about two tablespoons. Whisk it together until dissolved. Add vanilla, and cream, about half a cup for a small yolk or two third cup for a large yolk. Whisk everything together, and that's it for your mixture. You're ready to cook them. It's that simple. I'm using four ounce creme brulee ramekins. Feel free to use the round ones. Fill them up most of the way. Leave a little room so you don't spill when transferring them. Cover both up with aluminum foil. Trim excess foil before simmering. Line the bottom of a nonstick pan with paper towel. Wet the paper towel with a little water. Add ramekin to the pan and transfer the pan to the stove. Fill the pan with boiling hot water to the level of the custard. Cover with a lid and simmer for 12 minutes. The custard will set very soft, but to show you that it did indeed set, here's the tiny spoon test. It should hold weight of a small spoon without it sinking. Here's the other one. Now for substitutions. Structurally, this will work with just milk or even plant-based alternatives. For best flavor though, you should use at least some fat, either from cream or coconut cream. But even hemp milk with zero calorie sweetener will set. If you don't have any tiny spoons, the jiggle test works too. The warm custard should move like soft jello. To enjoy them immediately, chill them in an ice water bath. To avoid shocking the ramekins, add cold water first and then the ice. Now top the chilled custard with a thin layer of sugar. Tap around the ramekin to make sure the sugar evenly coats the whole custard. Now you're ready to torch. This is why you should really get a torch. Even as a unit tasker, it's worth getting just to watch and smell the sugar burn. Not to mention it's great for marshmallow, sushi, and cheese. It's well worth the investment. But if you don't have one and want creme brulee tonight, I'll show you a few workarounds shortly. But first, the cracky moment. Hard crunchy sugar over silky smooth custard all in under 15 minutes. Try this once, and you'll never make them in the oven again. Now the torch alternative. The first method is stovetop caramel. Just dissolve some sugar with half as much water. Cook the whole thing until it turns amber. The water is just there to help the sugar heat evenly. It will evaporate before the sugar starts browning. Just as the caramel is done, Pour hot caramel onto the custard quickly and move the ramekin around to help the caramel coat the whole surface. The caramel will cool and harden very fast. It will crack just like torched sugar. The only downside is it will be thicker than torched. So do it this way only if you like extra caramel. Alternatively, if you just want a little caramel topping, try the hot spoon method. Heat a metal spoon over the stove and immediately press it onto sugared custard. The sugar will burn, and you will get the same flavor, an uneven look. Although depending on the heat retention of your spoon, you may not get a thick, hard surface. Here's a side-by-side. -side. Pick your hack. Now for sugar alternatives. Erythritol will melt and harden similarly, but the taste is nothing like caramel. My verdict is use it in the custard, but don't use it as a topping unless you have to. Hi everyone! This little channel just broke 1000 subs earlier this month. 
I know that's tiny on YouTube, but it is a big deal for me. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you do try out any of my recipes, I would love to find out how they turn out for you. If you have any issues with any of them, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below and we will tweak it together. If there are any dishes you are curious about, please also leave me a comment and I will see if I can come up with a workday version of it. Thank you for watching. Stick around.